This is about preventing war. It's always been about preventing war. And I look at what Donald Trump said in South Carolina. He said he would actually encourage Putin to invade our allies. Think about that for a second. Trump is siding with a thug where half a million people had been wounded or killed because Putin invaded Ukraine. Trump is siding with a dictator who kills his political opponents. Trump is siding with a madman who arrests American journalists and holds them hostage. Trump is gonna side with Putin who's made no bones about wanting to destroy America over our allies that stood with us after 9-11? What are we doing? We're better than that. The majority of Americans dislike Donald Trump. The majority of Americans dislike Joe Biden. 60% of Americans think Donald Trump and Joe Biden are too old to be running for president. The world is on fire, literally. You've got a war in Europe. You've got a war in the Middle East. You've got North Korea testing intercontinental ballistic missiles capable of hitting the U.S. You've got China doing cyber attacks on our infrastructure. The issue at hand is he's not going to get the 40% if he's going and calling out my supporters and saying they're barred permanently from that. He's not going to get the 40% by calling them names. He's not going to get the 40% by trying to take over the RNC so that it pays all his legal fees. He's not going to get to 40% if he is not willing to change and do something that acknowledges the 40%. And why should the 40% have to cave to him? We're talking about the heart and soul of our country, truly. And look, I'm not doing this for me. I'm not doing it for a political career. I'm doing this for my kids.